So yes, thinking about where you've been, where you want to be. Goals, tasks, actions. A task should have multiple actions. So as you said, be kind to yourself and you know, just look at it a positive and then really give yourself the credit of just taking those steps towards it. Mm -hmm. Hello, welcome everyone. We have a crew of Maryland mental health professionals here to talk to you today about the new year, how you can be your best in 2022. Yay. Yay! Thanks for inviting all of us. Yes, I'd love to share with you more who we have. I'm Dr. Sarah Demas, as you know, and with us is Dr. G, Chase, and Lauren. So we wanted to talk about the new year, and I feel like we can't talk about the new year without talking about the prior year. So 2021 was still a tough one for all of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was the pandemic, we were still limited, we were masked, just kind of reflecting back and giving some compassion to ourselves of the roses and the thorns, I like to say. What were the good parts and the challenges and maybe the difficulties that we overcame? And just kind of reflecting on that, I hope that our viewers will do the same. It was hard. It was tough. Sure. I'm still getting back to my best self, I feel. So how do we like kind of look at it a little more positively after going through this challenges in last year? Right, yeah. right. If you're feeling like, oh, I didn't get what I had wanted to get accomplished in 2021, it can maybe create some resistance um, or hesitancy in going into the next year. But what I would ask is for everyone to be brave and to trust us a little bit to hopefully find a lot of support. For me, social support is like a superpower. If I mm -hmm. have people behind me, I can do anything. When you're doing this, when you're vision boarding or thinking about your resolutions, mm -hmm almost pretend like you're four years old again oh, okay. to give yourself permission to dream. I like that because yeah. a lot of times if you're thinking too much, oh, yeah, that's impossible. Like a lot of things that you kind of want is impossible to reach. Mm -hmm, right. But like, let's just say, be a four year old and say like, yeah, I want to fly kind of thing, yeah. right? Let's do that. I, I'm ready. Yeah. So yes, thinking about where you've been, where you want to be. And sometimes when we think of just a goal, like again, it's maybe not a great goal to say, I want to lose weight. But if we think of a goal, it should also have a task, which are more achievable. I have a little breakdown kind of goals, tasks, and actions would be underneath. I think this was really yeah. important part because when we you think about the goal, like mm -hmm. I'm going to lose like 20 pounds or mm -hmm. going to run half a marathon, mm -hmm. it's just so daunting. Like it's, it's just goal, but how can I reach that? Yeah. I think that's the answer is where the, you break it down to tasks, right? The low level and the actions, right? Mm -hmm. On the lowest level. So if right. you can explain that. Um, they're saying that the goals are kind of like the reason you're working so hard. So actually, mm -hmm. okay, my goal is to have a family. That's a really large goal in one year. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. start a family. <laughs> start a family. Yeah. But maybe it's behind why I want to have a family too. So I want to have a family. I want to feel love and connection and belonging. So um, that's my overall goal. Love, connection, belonging. Mm -hmm. My tasks. I need to have a healthy relationship, right? Create a community, like mm -hmm. what you actually have to do. And um, if I was single, then the actions would be go on dates, go on a date, yeah, yeah. Right? Those are meet people, actions, right. right? Okay. Tangible things that I can like schedule on my calendar uh -huh. or my planner, uh -huh. Uh -huh. like dinner with whoever. Da -da -da. Um, so goals, tasks, and actions. And I think the goals are important. I like this. The reason you're working so hard mm -hmm. is it not to lose 10 pounds, but be really healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Reason behind why I want to lose weight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the reason. Then the tasks are kind of like your to-do list of things you want to do. Some of them can be now, next, or later. And then your actions are the behaviors. So this is where things get really tangible, mm -hmm. where you yeah. can see, where you can cross them off. Oh, I like this. They should start with a verb. Things oh. that you'll actually do. Mm -hmm. I like the small of yeah, it absolutely. because it's yeah. like yeah. manageable. Like right. if I can hold it in my, I can do anything for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. If 30 minutes daunting, you can start with the 15 minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
and set a task. So again, goals, tasks, actions. A task should have multiple actions underneath it. So I think that makes it a little easier. So if you're doing a vision board, yeah. you could talk about the feeling of connection or maybe there's like a symbol that mm -hmm. works for you. Mm -hmm. The tasks could be a picture, whether mm -hmm. it's feeling healthy or an emotion for mine, maybe like people like being like in a family yeah. or a couple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the action would be, you know, like having coffee and meeting people. Examples will be helpful. Mm -hmm. so I think that a lot of people might um, resonate that I uh, wanted to be healthier because mm -hmm. I, had, I had a pretty big health hit mm -hmm. a few years ago, so I'm still recovering. And in the meantime, 30 pounds I gained over four or five years. Mm -hmm. So now I feel a little more energetic that I kind of wanted to go back into my usual like sort of healthy habits. So let's say, so I, I want to be healthier. Yeah. That might be goal. And then my task will be exercising and uh, eating healthier yeah. mm -hmm. and sleeping better. Yeah. Right. So something like that tasks. And then uh, actions on exercising, as I said, like I wanted to rowing machine for 30 minutes a day. Yeah. And then for sleep, the actions will be not bringing my phone to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I know. I've been doing it, but like I'm gonna do like a little more consistent. Yeah. 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 Particularly not bringing the phone inside. The mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that will be sort of goals and tasks yeah. and actions. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And Chase, you had mentioned something before about not wanting to make resolutions in the past. Oh, sure yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, it's true. Uh -huh. um, for, I don't know, four or five years, um, I kind of paused on making resolutions because um, in the past I've, I've made them and not lived up to them and that's always been really disappointing. Right. It doesn't feel good to, yeah. to set a goal and not reach it. Yeah. But um, I think I've learned a little more about resolutions recently, about how to set smart ones, um, things that are obtainable. Um, and so, so this year, again, I'm starting. I can relate to that. Right. Sometimes I'm like paralyzed by perfection. It has to be perfect. Right. Otherwise I won't do it. And it'll, I'll just delay it, delay it, delay it. But the truth is there's never going to be a perfect time, yeah. a perfect place, a perfect setting. I saw this quote um, before the new year and it's going to be like my quote for 2022. Mm -hmm. But the quote is you either evolve or you repeat. And mm -hmm. I, the first time I read it, I thought about it and then I repeated it a couple times and it's so true. Like it's so true, true. You yeah. either evolve and you throw yourself into hitting your goals and, mm -hmm. and making these recordings mm -hmm. or you repeat the cycle of not drinking enough water and stuff. Right. So yeah. Yeah. try to keep that in mind that you're constantly evolving. To oh, absolutely. Goals. Yeah. I really like that you, you push yourself a little bit to the mm -hmm. uncomfortable zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise you're going to be in a very comfortable but yeah. repeating. Nothing yeah. grows. Exactly. Yeah. So we gotta push zone. a little bit yep. of a yep. little bit of uncomfortable mm -hmm. and it be looking like a rubbish at the beginning. That's okay. Like right. you just go from there. Yeah. Yeah. So the vision board is a visual that you see yep. every day. Not hidden in the back of your closet, but somewhere maybe in the bathroom mirror or somewhere you see it every day. Yeah, and you have limited mental energy a, a day or, or overall, right? Yeah. So what happens is for for maybe 21 days, you have some efforts, but what you want to do is make it a habit. Mm -hmm. The once it becomes a habit, you don't use that much of mental energy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it becomes a little more motor issue. For sure. Like, yeah, right. like a little more movement. Mm -hmm. Just like when you wake up, you go to the bathroom and brush teeth, you don't use your brain. Right. So that's, that's what we want to do to kind of make this small actions more like a habit. Yeah. But at the beginning, you might have to put a little bit of effort, but hopefully it'll become more effortless once it becomes a habit. Yeah. yeah. When you want to reach some goal, mm -hmm. and a lot of people think that, did you reach or you did not reach or you're a failure? Did you, did yeah. you succeed or yeah. did you fail? But that's like you said, all or nothing. Uh, thinking, yeah. 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 So when you want to reach a goal, that if you are going towards it, it's success. Mm -hmm. If you're going towards it, if you reach a thirty percent, it's a thirty yeah. percent success. Yeah. That's not a failure. So as you said, be kind to yourself and you know just look at it a positive, and then really give yourself a credit of just taking those steps towards it. Mm -hmm. right. And then if you miss a couple of days and a day here and there, mm -hmm. don't feel too guilty. Yeah. If you're doing like 75, 80, that's a huge success. But if you, even if you're doing like 30, 50%, mm -hmm. that's a still a, a half of success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't fortune tell. 
because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. And a lot of times people choose thoughts that feel bad and that yeah. demotivate you. Yeah. So if I'm like, oh, I'm never going to get that. The truth is we don't know. Like, the reality is all we have in the present. And um, choose a thought that feels better. What if I do?